we are never far away from truth we revolve around the truth we keep falling into it and falling out of it it is impossible to go so far that there is no possibility for you to come back because wherever you go truth is there as an underlying essence of your being but just like dust can cover up the clarity of the mirror although mirror is more of a reality it is ever ready to reflect whatever that comes in front of it one thin layer of dust can cover it up and what is dust compared to the mirror it is nothing one swipe of your hand you can so easily wipe it but you just don't know how to so you keep on trying and trying to understand your life through your thoughts without realizing then all i have to do is just wipe the thought out all thoughts related to me and the world if i can experience a few moments of thoughtlessness i i will know who i am the mirror is there i'm standing in front of the mirror i don't have to go anywhere but i am continuously interpreting myself through my thoughts now unless you learn this art of wiping the mirror clean unless you learn the technique the method the art of wiping this mirror clean you will be frustrated you will be looking at this mirror and wondering and wondering you will be mistaking the distorted image the confused image to be your true self now how can you not be disturbed how can you not be in pain how can you not feel lost if you are seeing yourself as something that you're not so in all this there is no need for the creator there is no need for god there is no need for devil there is no need for saviors there is no need for heaven there is no need for hell when this existential phenomenon when it is recorded in words and then repeated again and again to remember it we exaggerate it error becomes sin act of creation becomes not a happening but someone's conscious decision to create and redemption becomes a way of being delivered from all this sin it becomes a way of getting to the kingdom of god this is why it is hard to convince people who vehemently hold on to their religious beliefs that what they are believing in is completely wrong because just at the surface if you are able to remove the error of intensity the error of exaggeration the truth is there and that is what keeps them glued to their religion that is what keeps them glued to their beliefs but a truth exaggerated is a lie how can truth use lies as its vehicle if it is using lies as its vehicle to move around it is deceiving people truth hidden is a lie religions deep down know that there is truth somewhere but it is so completely hidden from your view that all you are experiencing all you are drawn to is the lie is the exaggerated lie what is life life itself is 
an exaggerated truth. Why is life an error? Because it is not the simplest state of being. There is something more happening than what should be happening. What is the difference between disturbance and peace? Disturbance is exaggerated peace, distorted peace. What is misery? What is suffering? It is exaggerated happiness, exaggerated bliss. When something is misunderstood and amplified, it becomes an error. Now, religions cannot say there is truth here. We are simply exaggerating it. Now, the moment you exaggerate truth, you have forgotten the truth. You are servicing a lie. It's a small difference as far as language is concerned. But in terms of your ability to eventually get back to the truth is concerned, it's a big difference. Exaggeration, distortion can keep you trapped without ever giving you the possibility of discovering the truth that is beneath it. Because it is extraordinarily hard to see the exaggeration as a lie and to remove only as much as it is necessary to get to the truth. Either you will cling to the exaggeration or you will discard it so completely that you will throw away truth as well. Now, that's the world we are living in. There are those who vehemently hold on to the exaggerated lies of their religions. And there are those who don't want to go anywhere near religions, who don't want to investigate into the nature of truth that is hidden there. Hence, they don't want to believe in anything that even resembles saving themselves, seeing life as an error. Now, intelligence is to be able to see that truth is hidden. It just has to be uncovered. You cannot do it intellectually. You cannot do it by creating more concepts, by creating more ideas. You just have to figure out a way to clean the mirror. Every religion, every ideology is some kind of dust on the mirror. There is no comparing one kind of dust to another to say this dust is better than that. It's all dust. Eventually, it is clouding your judgment. It does not matter how old your religion is. It does not matter how deeply it has seeped into your daily living. You have to see that what you're searching for is somewhere outside of this, somewhere beyond this. The path that you need to take is different than the path that is being shown to you. You have to interpret words. You have to experientially understand. Take a simple statement. The kingdom of heaven is within you. That statement is both truth and lies. It's the same statement. The way you understand it is what makes all the difference. If you take that statement literally, and if you start searching for the kingdom of heaven as a place, you have missed it completely. But if you see it as a symbolic representation of something beautiful, something blissful, and by the very nature, if it is inside, it can only be experienced in silence. It can only be experienced in aloneness. You cannot find it in the comfort of your group, in the comfort of your religion, in the comfort of your theology. 
that ability to smell truth that is covered up by lies stinking lies that is the art of living to be able to smell truth where you smell nothing but lies otherwise you will miss it completely because nowhere in the world truth exists in its pure pristine form it is always covered up with some lies you have to dig for the truth you have to hunt for it